Hey, Shirley Rocks here, and as you can see, I'm rocking out, wandering around here, and I want today to talk about skill points. Now, this is just something I've recently discovered. If you uh, go on down here to your um, skills tab, now I've been in it before, never really paid any attention to it, but if you go to general, you've actually got a um, stats panel, so you can increase your stats. So. Apparently, different um, stats affect how you fight and things like that. So, for instance, uh, uh, apparently, if you've got a higher accuracy, you've got a better chance of actually hitting stuff. Now, I think you get various stats for when you level up. As you can see, I'm level 2, so I've got 11 points. So, I don't know if it's about 5, five stat points per level, but I'm just going to go ahead and going to stick some of my points into something. So, let's see. If you increase it by 1, it takes it up by... Oh, it only takes it up by one, so let's uh, do that to 73. That takes quite a lot of stat points, that. It doesn't seem to be a way of negating it, which is a bit weird. Um, so you can add stats to it, but you can't, so... Ooh, so I reckon um, accuracy and I'm hoping action points... Nope, it's not going to let me put any in that. Let's do a bit in strength then. Nope, still can't. Okay, so I've got two points left, but it won't actually let me place them. Oh, it has. Just let me put the one point in stamina. So hopefully that means I'm actually going to be able to um, hit stuff a lot um, harder now. Um, there's nothing else in the other options for... Um, uh, what to call it, uh, skill points, but I just thought it's something that's worthwhile you doing. Now, I was going to do this video just on um, skill points, but I'm going to talk a little bit about the technology as well. So, basically, the technology is your recipes, what you can make, what you can use, you know, what armor you can use, what weapons you can use. So, I've got 147 at the moment, so. I should, in theory, be able to get the uh, crossbow skill now, which is what I wanted to get before. So let's go ahead and uh, let's go and get it. I've not got it, got it yet. So there we go. So now I've got the research skill for crossbows. So let's go ahead and check out crafting. Now we can't actually build it yet because you need actual a workbench to craft this. So. Normally, there is workbenches everywhere in the world, but as luck would have it, there isn't any here in this bit I am, so I don't think I've got the requirements to actually build them at the moment. Let's check it out. Um, no. I'm going to need a hammer. I've got an axe. I'm going to have a little one to see if I can find a uh, workbench. I'll go one one more screen, and if I can't get anything in that, then I will actually make one. So, come on, run, Charlie Rocks! We're running. It doesn't look like we're running, but we're running. Okay. Come on. There we go. That saves me faffing around there. Uh, making one myself so let's go out and check out requirements for building a crossbow now this technology it's you will get four points for every i think it's 10 minutes you're in game it's offline as well so i think i had 99 before i played before i went, uh, logged off yesterday and came back to 147 and you also get experience points for killing monsters as well i believe so let's go ahead and check out this uh I want to see about making a crossbow now. Here we go. So I've got two options now. So this must be the range tab. So we've got a wooden bow, which is uh, two sticks, five wooden filaments, and we've got the crossbow, which is what I want. Ah, oh, dang it. You need a bar. How do you make a bar? Okay, bar, you need a plank. Wow. <laughs> this is like Groundhog Day. It's like you need a bar to make a plank. Uh, you need a plank to make a bar, but how do you make a plank? I don't actually know how you make a plank. Let's have a look. I've not got the uh, skill for that yet, so I need... Um, so I don't know what it'll be. It'll be, I imagine it's going to be resource processing, perhaps. I've not got quite enough to do that, though. 
Dang. Or improved materials. Hmm. Let's go ahead and... I want to... Let's get a bow. Make sure we can make some ammo for it at the moment. So... We've not got tips. Can we make tips? Let's just do a basic... We want to do a basic stone tip. I don't think I've actually got the resources to make. Oh well, so I'm not going to. I'm not going to be. I won't be showing you that then. Uh, however, the, there is this, which is the bone cudgel. I was just reading in chats when people were saying that's a pretty decent uh, weapon. So let's go ahead and and uh, do this. I was going to do some like series of individual videos, but. I think I'm just going to do a mixture. So this one's going to be skills, um, the actual technology tree, and then we're also going to do a little bit on weapons. So I'm going to make myself a new weapon. We're going to make a bone bludgeon. Okay, don't forget, press U. Well, I, sorry to bring up your inventory there. So where is my bone bludgeon? There we go. So bone bludgeon, weight five, power thirty six to seventy two. Um, attacks available melee, six AP, and it's ninety percent accuracy. So let's compare that to the, the club, which is ninety percent accuracy, but it's um, eight AP. So it's too bare, and it's the damage doesn't look as good on it though. Let's go and check it out because I'm gonna go and do a bit of combat. There was some easiest, easy-ish mobs down here, so let's go ahead and uh, attempt to kill something without dying. Because I did do a video on this the other day to show the combat, but um, Bandicam decided that it was going to crash halfway through the video instead and leave me with an un <laughs> a corrupted uh, video file, so thanks for that Bandicam. Okay, there is a mob. There was a set of mob drone here. I think there's another screen now. I came two up before. Okay, we need to check our weapons as well. We've actually, it looks like I've got the wrong weapon equipped there. Let's take that off. Oh no, it is the right weapon, it's just the graphics are wrong for it. Okay, so there's loads of rats here. So, to initiate combat, basically you have to think of combat as in there's a square. Uh, so, there'll be like a square like that in an area. Now, in order to initiate combat, you click turn based mode. And I don't know, see, that this will be interesting. I want to see if I can just fight a few of them. So, I'm hoping I'll just get the ones on the edge here. So, let's see. So. Oh, there's, a, there's another player in the area. I don't want to. I don't want to fight another player. Where is he? Let's just try anyway. Let's just try and attack this bot. So we want to attack that one. Uber QE. Let's attack it. Let's see what happens. Hopefully, we're not going to die. Twenty seconds till it starts. Get rid of that piercing air raid siren noise. I don't know where the other player is. There's a couple of them on the map, I think. Hopefully they're going to... You seem to be able to de decline uh, combat when it appears, so hopefully they're going to decline it. Okay. Okay, now your eardrums will stop bleeding. Uh, this is basically the combat, it's turn based, so it's me now, so I can either pass the turn or I can uh, move and use my um, points up. Um, so you need to find out where the, the enemy is first of all, so move out a little bit and then return. Try and find out where they are. Ooh, here we go. Oh dear. I didn't realise these rats were so uh, fast, so let's try and. Uh, Wow. Miss. Uh, did we hit it? No, we missed again. What? I think I might be in trouble. These rats hit a lot harder than I thought they did. <laughs> oh, there you go. That's, that's the excitement of combat in this game. So, I've actually just died. 
Oh. I can't believe I've died. I think I need to research armor. Um, I don't know what armor's actually under though. There was a prim primitive clothing perhaps. Let's uh I'm gonna respawn, let's have a little look. Let's get primitive armor on the go. So as you can see, my spawn point is a different spawn point now. So let's go ahead and research primitive clothing. Okay, research. So yeah, I did, I did get there. And if you notice me experience, and you did get a little, a little bit of experience for fighting. So we want to do some primitive. Um, let's see, is there a workbench near us? Oh, it would have been sweet if there had been a workbench right near me. I could have just immediately shown you um, some of the new stuff, so... I'm gonna, uh... I, was, I wanted to do another level in uh, research of um, leather clothing, but I've not got the experience. So I'm gonna go one screen up. If I find another workbench, I'll show you the basic armour, but... Unfortunately, if there's no other arm, I'm not going to have another 20 minutes of me trying to find a workbench, so I'm going to leave that there for this random video. Okay. Come on. Lucky bench, lucky bench, lucky bench. Lucky bench. No lucky bench. Yeah, there's no lucky bench. So, I'm going to leave that there for this video. So, I hope you guys are enjoying watching this, uh, watching me explore as I, as I play, and you're... Uh, learn a little bit more about the game and uh give us a uh, comment below in the video if you you know if you guys are playing it and uh let us know where you're where you're all based and we can all you know group up and we can uh chop down some trees together so that's it for this video uh thanks for all the recent recent um subs much appreciated it's good to see my numbers going up and i hope you're enjoying it and i will see you next time this is shirley rocks and guess what i'm doing i'm signing out